Hello guys, in today's video we are going to compare these three semiconductors companies called NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. We are going to compare their valuation and business and decide which one has more long-term potential. This video has been requested by a subscriber and a member of my Discord chat, which remember if you would like to join is completely free and the link is down below in the description. Please smash that like button and subscribe since it really helps my channel out. NVIDIA is a technology company that designs GPUs for gaming and professional markets, SOCs or system on a chip for mobile computing and automotive market. Then AMD is a semiconductor company that mostly develops GPUs, CPUs and APU chips for businesses and consumer markets. Lastly, Intel is the leader in the game since they are the world's largest and highest value semiconductor chip manufacturer. They basically supply microprocessors for computer systems manufacturers such as Lenovo, HP, Dell and Apple, even though Apple announced last month that they will start creating their own processors and stop using Intel. They also manufacture network interface controllers, flash memory, graphic chips and more. There are direct competitors between them in several products, but not in all of them. For example, the three of them manufacture GPUs, but Nvidia does not manufacture or provide CPUs like AMD and Intel does. Before starting to analyze their financials, take into consideration that Nvidia and AMD are more of a growth company and Intel is more of a stable company. Also, growth companies tend to experience more volatility since so much future earnings are already baked in the stock price and any sign of slowdown in growth could make the stock price to fall. Also, the other way around, if they see any acceleration in growth more than what it's expected, we could see a huge uptrend in the stock. Let me know in the comment section below if you own any of these three stocks or what you think about them. Now, NVIDIA is currently trading at a price of $402 per share, has a market cap of $247.28 billion and a PE of 75.17. AMD is trading at a price of $53.59 per share, has a market cap of $62.76 billion and a PE of 125.80. Lastly, Intel is trading at a price of $58.58 per share, has a market cap of $248.02 billion and a PE of 11.36. As you can see, AMD and Nvidia have way higher PE ratio than Intel. That is only because they are growth companies, meaning that they are expected to have a larger growth in few years in comparison to Intel. If we compare their 5-year average PE, AMD has a discount of 7% from its average, Intel 24% and Nvidia does not have a discount at all, meaning that it is way, way higher than their 5-year average PE. Here we can see their PE estimates for the year. 52.18 for AMD, 12.21 for Intel, and 49.52 for Nvidia. Now, last year, 2019, AMD reported a revenue of $6.7 billion, which is a slight increase of only 3%, but last quarter, they reported a revenue of $1.8 billion, which is a huge increase of 40% in comparison to the same quarter last year. NVIDIA reported a revenue of $10.9 billion in the year, which was actually a decrease of 7%. On quarter 1, 2020, they reported a revenue of $3.1 billion, which yes, it is an increase of 30% in comparison to the same quarter of 2019, but still a decrease of almost 4% in comparison to the same quarter of 2018. Still, they have been recovering from the crypto mining crash from 2019. Lastly, Intel reported a revenue of $71.9 billion for 2019, which is an increase of 1.6%, and in quarter 1, 2020, they reported a revenue of $19.8 billion, up 23% in comparison with the same quarter last year. So to do a small recap, AMD has had a higher growth on an annual and quarterly basis, followed by Intel and lastly Nvidia since again, Nvidia is recovering from a bad 2019 because of the crypto mining crash. Now, AMD has only a profit margin of 6.72%, 
while Nvidia 28.18% and Intel 30.02%. Take into consideration that AMD profit margins are so low in comparison to others since they spent a lot of money in R&D or research and development since that is what have given them so much acceleration in their technology growth and that is why their operating income is so low. As you can see, AMD had in 2019 an operating income of $631 million, which is only 9% of their revenue, while Nvidia operating income is 26% of their revenue and Intel 30.6%. On their balance sheet, we can see that NVIDIA has a total of cash and cash equivalents and marketable securities of $16.4 billion, AMD $1.4 billion, and Intel $20.8 billion. NVIDIA has current assets of $19.6 billion, total assets of $23.3 billion, current liabilities of $1.9 billion, and total liabilities of $10.2 billion. Now, if we divide their current assets by their current liabilities, we get a current ratio of 10.29, which is very, very impressive. For AMD, they have a current ratio of 2.21, and lastly, Intel with a current ratio of 1.74. Now, if we divide their total liabilities by their total assets to know how much of their assets is financed with debt, we get a total of 0.44 for Nvidia, 0.48 for AMD, and 0.48 for Intel as well. This means that these three companies have less than half of their assets financed with debt, which means that they are running a very efficient business. I do have to say that this impressed me a lot since AMD and Nvidia are growth companies and normally growth companies do not tend to have a good balance sheet or stable balance sheet. In this case, AMD and Nvidia have way better balance sheets than Intel. Now, analysts are expecting AMD to have a growth in revenue of 25% for 2020 and 21.50% 21 for 2021. For Nvidia, 34.10% for 2020 and 17% in 2021. Lastly, Intel only 2.50% in 2020 and 0.60% for 2021. Now, let's take a look at this chart. In here, the black line is the S&P 500, the purple one is Intel, the blue one Nvidia, and the green one AMD. If we compare their performance, we can see the difference between growth companies and stable companies. AMD and Nvidia both are growth companies and have outperformed the S&P 500 way more than Intel in the past five years, even though Intel is way bigger company than them. Don't get me wrong, Intel has also performed very nice in the past five years, but it is a more secure investment and a more stable company, meaning that it is a more stable revenue growth and more stable stock price growth. Now, two out of these three companies provide dividends. Nvidia has a dividend yield of 0.16% and a payout ratio of 12%. Then Intel has a way better dividend yield of 2.25% with an amazing payout ratio of 26%. To do a quick recap, Intel is the biggest one according to their market cap. It is almost four times bigger than AMD and kind of the same size than Nvidia. Still, Intel produces 10 times more than AMD and six times more than Nvidia. Yes, I know Intel is the global leader here and has been for years and years, but it is something to take into consideration when deciding in which one to invest and which one could have more long term potential. On the revenue growth, AMD has been doing way better than the other two companies as we saw in their past years with 3% increase last year and analysts are expecting them to have better earnings growth along the years. I am saying this because of their PEG ratio, or price per earnings to growth ratio. A PEG ratio basically determines the stock's value while also taking into consideration the company's expected earnings growth. When calculating this ratio, anything below one is undervalued and anything above one is overvalued. Nvidia has a five-year PEG ratio of 4.15 
AMD 1.28 and Intel 1.87. So according to this, the three of them are overvalued, but the closer to one, the better. So the best pick according to this method, again, according to this method is AMD. Now, the big question is which one would be the best pick for the long term? It all depends on what you want or how you like to invest. If you like stable and secure investments with a nice dividend, then Intel is the right stock for you. If you want a stock that has huge growth potential in the long term, then I would go with AMD and then Nvidia is kind of between both. Still, many of you may already know that AMD was one of my stock picks in May since they have had a massive growth in comparison to Intel and Nvidia. I do have to say that it is an investment that involves higher risk than Intel but might provide way higher returns in the long term if everything goes as planned. Hope you really enjoyed this video guys, please smash that like button and subscribe since it really helps the channel out. Stay safe, thank you and see you next time.